So hello students, greetings from teacher Charles. And I just want to share a short lesson on some important things for you to know as a Cambodian ESL student. ESL, of course, is English as a second language. First of all, there are five keys to become fluent in English. If you want to become fluent in English, number one, listen to a native speaker speak English. That's the most important thing that you can do. If you ask any Cambodian who speaks English fluently, that's what they will tell you. Listen to a native English speaker. You can choose American English, British English, Philippine English, Irish English, Australian English. Choose whatever one that you like. Then find that person on YouTube or find them in eSchool Cambodia and listen to them speak. Number two, repeat after the native speaker. To speak English, you must speak English. You must train your lips, your tongue, your mouth, and your throat. You must train your, your vocal cords and the parts of your body to do something new. And if you only speak English from time to time, uh, it's, it's going to be weak. And so you need to practice speaking. Most Cambodians are shy, they're embarrassed, they say, I can't speak good, my English is poor. No, don't, don't think like that. You have to try. You have to try. Repeat after the native English speaker. Say it after the native English speaker. Number three, read English out loud at the appropriate level. Find simple English. This is my experience. Cambodians study too fast and they try to study at too high of a level. So find something to read that is easy for you to read and practice reading it and practice until you're fluent. So don't just study it quickly to finish it, but study it and say it again and read it again and again and again until you're fluent. So read English out loud at an appropriate level and study at an appropriate level. One student asked me, teacher, why do I find it difficulty reading? I said, because you're reading books that are too difficult. Read something simple to begin with and become fluent at that level and then go to the next level. That's why I encourage students, don't start at New Interchange Book 1, Book 2, or Book 3. Even if you speak quite well, I guarantee you the way that I teach is different from the way that other teachers teach. I help you lay a good foundation. Number four, write English. Write English and say the words as you write. There's something called short-term memory and long-term memory. And so teach, students will ask me, teacher, why do I forget my new words? Because your new words are only in the short-term memory of your brain. To get them from the short-term memory to the long-term memory, but you have to say it, you have to write it, and say it again. And that moves the new information from short-term memory to long-term memory. So writing is important. That's why it's important to do your homework, to do your writing homework, because it causes the, the new information to go from your short-term memory into your long-term memory. And then number five, practice using it. Practice using it as you talk to yourself in the mirror, talk to yourself as you ride the motorcycle, use your new words, create new sentence, sentences. As you see things everywhere, this is a window, that is a door, this is my window, that is my door, this is their house, this is my house. It's hot, it's cold, it's high, it's low. Use your new vocabulary and use your new words and sentences. And so this is my encouragement for you, and I encourage you to study with me on eSchool Cambodia as well.